Hi and welcome back. Inverse kinematics is used to control a chain of bones with a single bone. And I'm going to show you how to set it up for legs and tail. Going to the edit mode, we don't need mirror. First we are going to extrude this joint and rename it with IK. Delete the other part. This is fine. We need to go to the pose mode and we want to select this bone and add an inverse kinematics constraint. Target will be our matter rig and we are going to select the bone we made and renamed. So select that bone. Select how many bones you want to be affected with this IK. So length 2 in this example and you can see one bone and the other bone. Okay, we need to clear the parent for this bone and now if we go to the pose mode, it's working. Let's add a pole. So back into the edit mode, we're going to extrude. We want a clear parent, disconnect this bone and move it a little bit. Select the one we made to be parent and keep it offset. Now we want to select it and rename it. This is going to be pole bone. Let's delete this part. Okay, dot L. And back to the pose mode to change our settings. Just add a matter rig and the bone we made. So this is going to be our pole bone. Set up angle minus 90 and check if it's working. Okay, you can do armature and symmetrize for these bones because we have dot L, now we can get dot R. Okay, so now we want to select this bone and add a constraint in the same way we did. So matter rig, IK and pole bones. Also we want to change our settings, minus 90, okay let's do 90. If you don't change the length, everything is going to move, so change this and let's do minus 90. And it's working now. That's it. So let's set up IK for our model. Here you can see if you move one by one, it's moving something like this. We want to add a bone and rename it. Let's do IK and tail. We don't need a mirror. Select this bone and in the pose mode and add an IK constraint. As we did before, we're going to select the target for a matter rig, bone we made IK tail. In this example, four bones. But let's put smaller length, just so you can see. Let's see clear the parent. And go to the pose mode. You can see how many bones are affected. So let's go back and change our settings. Let's do four. And that's all. Hope your IK works.